Cersei is a dirty, dirty liar. But I guess, should we be shocked by that? So you may remember the great debate about whether Cersei was actually pregnant or she was lying to Jaime in order to keep her claws in him. You say is the father. You. In fact, the actor for Jamie said his main motivation in leaving King's Landing was to create a better world for his child to live in. Or, you know, a, a world where his child could actually live. Him helping in the North and going through hell was him trying to protect the woman he loved and his unborn child. While it turns out that Cersei wasn't lying about being pregnant, Lena Cersei's actress actually did film a miscarriage scene. Which wouldn't shock anybody who followed the leaks very closely. We were told in season seven that Cersei was going to lose her child. She was going to have a miscarriage by waking up in bed with blood all around her. Personally, I wanted her to be pregnant and have her child be lost during season eight and then the Night King get to King's Landing and Rez all the dead people, and the baby comes alive within her womb and just claws its way out. It would have been amazing. But I never get what I want, which honestly, I say this a lot, is a good thing. Season eight would have been really fucked up if I, I got what I wanted. Jamie, Tormun, Brienne, Threesome? Oh. <laughs> So anyways, when we actually got to the finale of season seven and Cersei didn't appear to have a miscarriage, those of us that followed leaks were a little bit confused. Either we thought, okay, the leaks were BS or maybe she had a miscarriage and we'll figure it out in season eight. Well, for once, it wasn't because of shitty false leaks. That leak was actually true. So Lena Hetty recently went to a Comic-Con and she shared a detail about Cersei and a scene she filmed for the finale of season seven. So she said, And we shot a scene that never made it to season seven, which was where I lose the baby. And it was a really kind of traumatic, great moment for Cersei, and it never made it in. I kind of love doing that because I thought it would have served her differently. Which... I absolutely 100% agree with. Remember what Cersei said to Jamie when he was leaving her? I'm the only one you have left. Our children are gone, our father is gone. It's just me and you now. There's one more yet to go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I have another one on the way. And then for her to lose that would be absolutely devastating to her. Can you, can you imagine turning away the last person that loved you saying, oh, I got this baby, and then that baby dies shortly after that person leaves? That's fucked. And personally, I know this is probably really sick, but no more sick than me wanting a dead baby to claw its way out of Cersei's womb. Jesus, I have issues. But I would have loved to see this more unhinged Cersei in season eight. So she's lost everything that was dear to her and she loved her family, her brother lover, her children, and, and then her baby. And the only thing she has left is the Iron Throne. So of course she's gonna do really screwed up things to ensure she keeps that one thing. And because Lena is such a good actress, you know she would have played the, the accumulation of all that tragedy so well, her losing Joffrey. Her losing her father. You're no son of mine. I am your son. I have always been your son. Her losing Marcella. You think about locking Marcella in a crypt. You think about her beautiful little face starting to close. Don't think about it. You have to. You have to. It's not right. She has to suffer alone. She's not suffering. She's gone. No one can answer anymore. She was good. Her losing Tommen. Jeremy. Your Grace, there's no need. Jeremy. Her 
Her losing her brother lover. I love saying that. I'm so sorry. And then when she feels like she can't possibly lose anything else and she finally has the throne and a baby, another child to hold on to and pass the throne to, she loses that too. He should be with his grandfather, his brother, his sister. Burn him. Bury his ashes where the sept once stood. And I think maybe that's why Lena was so against Cersei sleeping with Euron in the final season. You want a whore by one. You want a queen. Earn her. I mean, we remember what she said in an interview after that scene happened. I kept saying she wouldn't, she wouldn't, that she would keep fighting. But showrunners David Benioff and Dan Weiss obviously know what they're doing, and were adamant Cersei would do what she had to do. There's something to play in all of it. Cersei is such the ultimate survivor in all this. She refuses to fall to her knees. She goes to the place where she doesn't want to go, which makes it more powerful sad because of who she's not with. Even Euron's actor talked about the sex scene, stating, We had a lot of discussions. Would it be out of character for her to be with Greyjoy for power? We discussed it so much that we almost ended up going, maybe it's too much. Then we decided to try it out and see if it works. Sometimes you have to show different sides of a character. You have to surprise yourself as an actor, but you also have to surprise yourself as a character. And I think Lena being against Cersei doing this makes sense for a variety of reasons. One, we know Cersei was very against being forced into another marriage or having to be with another person against her will. You're still fertile, you need to marry again and breed. I am Queen Regent, not some brood man. You're my daughter! You will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell. And put an end to the disgusting rumors about you, once and for all. Father, don't make me do it again, please. Not another word. But also think about if she just lost her child, she might not be ready to be intimate again. She might not want to do something that leads to having a kid that might make her more closed off to the option. So yeah, I actually would have loved season eight playing out with Cersei going, I've lost everything. I've lost my children, born and unborn. I've lost my brother lover. I I've lost my family. If I lose the throne, I'm going to make you all lose everything as well before I give it up. And you know, you know, and I know I've already said this, but Lena would have played it so beautifully. She would have showed us this unhinged Cersei that was willing to take everything from everyone before she hit the ground for a dirt nap. But honestly, to kind of bring this video to a close, I think she was actually still pregnant in season eight. There's a reason why they filmed the miscarriage scene for the finale of season seven, and then they cut it. They realized that Cersei being pregnant, they could use that baby for greater motivation in season eight. After all, why would Cersei say this to Euron? And our child shall one day rule. If, if she was no longer pregnant. She wouldn't need to fake being pregnant with Euron's child if she wasn't pregnant. She already had her claws in Euron. Euron was already gonna stay with her because he wanted to be the king of the Seven Kingdoms, so he wouldn't care if she hadn't gotten pregnant yet. I also feel like it greatly would have taken away from her last moments had she not been pregnant. We want our baby to live. I want our baby to live. Don't let me die, Jake. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. I don't want to die.
Her fearing for her baby's life is what really moved me about the end of Cersei. Her being so concerned about her baby and not wanting it to die was just so gut-wrenching. And I feel like in that moment, would she not have been honest with Jamie, saying, hey, I lost the baby? Or would she have still lied and said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant. Please God, do everything you can to get me out of this situation. So despite them filming that miscarriage scene, I think she was actually still pregnant in season eight and they wanted to use her love for her unborn child to make us feel bad when she died. And I think they understood that her still being pregnant would be a better motivation for her character, even though I disagree with that. And I think her losing her child would have just sent her over the edge. So what are your thoughts? Do you think she was actually still pregnant in season eight? Do you think they just decided to get rid of the miscarriage storyline? Or do you think she was lying through her teeth to the very end to Jamie? Let me know in the comment section down below.